lather up. That's what a gel is. It has this amazing property, to, uh, ability to lock up water, to bind water. In fact, that's how your skin stays moist. It's bound up in gel. You know the the. That's this is why drinking more water doesn't make your doesn't really affect skin moisturization because the water has to be trapped in the gel. There's a very fascinating relationship between sugars and water that uh, allows right. these two substances to mix together to create a gel, uh, complex sugars and gels. It, the body is really a jelly system. Our brain is a jelly system. Our tissues are jelly systems. And by gel, I mean they're bound water with minerals inside. And anytime you eat bound water with minerals inside, as and algaes, you get tremendous, trem tremendous health benefits. And I believe in the future, when we have, uh, when we figure out how to work with the ocean a little bit, we're going to be farming algae and farming seaweed, and really using these things as a, a major source of nutrition because they're, they're really, really, really powerful, complete foods, as you say, Glenn. All right, I'm going to, I want to get to, I want to get to a couple letters. Did anything else you want to say, Glenn? Um, well, sometime when you have a chance to hold forth on uh, any potential benefits of nose breathing versus mouth breathing. Nose, okay, good. Yeah, always breathe in through the nose. A nose is for breathing, mouth is for eating, is the way I like to put it. So mouth breathing will get you a little bit more, uh, more air, obviously, but it's really the nose that's the, the function of the nose to uh, uh, for inhalation, exhalation, or functions of the nose. Thanks so much for your call, Glenn. Appreciate it. Uh, there's a lot of you know there's a lot of tricks you can use to control your to to affect how you're thinking how your whole how your body is working by breathing and these are called breathing techniques and there's lots of gurus out there and I have a friend who's one actually breathing gurus who will tell you that by breathing through one nostril and the other nostril and alternating nostrils you can have different uh, uh, change certain effects in the body but really it doesn't matter what you want to do is you want to be getting oxygen into your lungs and you want to be exhaling poison and carbon dioxide and that's the key and and don't underestimate the exhalation that's that's really where the body relaxes itself is on the exhalation. The inhalation is actually an activating, uh, an activating uh, process. As you inhale, you wake up. As you exhale, you relax. And exploiting the exhalation phase of respiration, the exhalation phase of respiration is really the key to relaxing the body. And speaking of that, I got this letter from. Uh, Rosemary, who writes, my husband, I, and I just, I printed this out because it's just so interesting. Uh, and, it, and so it, it's, it's such a classic example of how we think about the health of our bodies. My husband, Kenneth, 58 years old, was prescribed lisinopril. That's a, a drug that changes fluid balance in the, in the blood vessels. They, the doctor's strategy for reducing blood pressure is to reduce fluid, fluidity of the blood. Uh, amiodipine besylate, that's a heart drug. Uh, used for high blood pressure. Uh, since these two meds weren't reducing his pressure after six weeks, his physician added another drug, a beta blocker drug, which poisons the heart. This is how the doctors think. Oh, these didn't do it? We'll add one more. <laughs> As if these are magical substances that are only going to lower his blood pressure and not have toxicity. Uh, the addition of the drug, check this out, made him become extremely drowsy and lowered his sexual desire even further. Well, no kidding. He's being poisoned. If you were being poisoned, you wouldn't want to have sex either. All he could do was sleep between trips. Uh, duh, he's poisoning himself. He's a truck, stri a truck driver, great, so it was dangerous for him to be at work feeling sleepy all the time. After two weeks, he stopped taking the, uh, the Losartan, that's the beta blocker, since his blood pressure, and since his blood pressure has remained high. He juices raw vegetables and fruit daily. We're at a loss to what to do. Well, yes, because nobody's told him the mechanism. Here's what you do, Rosemary. Number one, first and foremost, start deep breathing. That alone will lower his blood pressure. Make sure he's inhaling correctly to get energy and exhaling correctly to detoxify and activate the relaxation nervous system. That's first. Secondly, for Rosemary, you, uh, Rosemary's husband, reduce sugar intake. Vegetable juices are great. The fruit is not. It's not helping him, especially in a juice. I'm, now, I'm not saying zero tolerance on sugar, but the cl as close as you can get. Oh, by the way, he's a 270 pounds and 5'11". So you're going to lose weight, too. Your weight is a classic example, a classic case, a manifestation of poorly processed sugar. My friend, you are a diabetic. So you got to think that way. So reducing your intake of anything that spikes blood sugar and using your sweeties, chromium and vanadium, making sure you're getting the B vitamins, which are incredibly important for helping 
with, uh, with blood sugar. That's the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which is packed with your B vitamins. There's lots of other nutrients you can use to help with sugar. Alpha lipoic acid can help. Vitamin E can help. Maybe 400 IU of alpha lipoic acid. Maybe, uh, 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 I'm sorry, 400 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid. Maybe 400 IU of vitamin E. Vitamin D is important, so get out in the sun. Use your ultimate EFAs. It's not anything different than anybody else has to do, and this is really the major point. Cannabis doesn't have an unusual problem. Selenium, by the way, is also very important for blood sugar control. Healthy start pack, all around health. Just do the healthy start pack. And then there's the food. First of all, caloric restriction. Every time he eats, every time, if you have high blood pressure and it's chronic, I guarantee you, after you eat, if you're eating the standard American diet, your blood pressure goes up. Do it. Take it. Test it. Take, test your blood pressure pre-meal and then test it post-meal. So eating less can be important. Making sure that you're eating nutritionally dense food, algaes as we talked about, wonderful nutritional density, oysters, eggs, uh, yeast, powerful, dense nutritional foods. And then, of course, the, an all-around nutritional supplement. It wouldn't hurt you to get on the Biolumin Nightly Essence, my all-time favorite nutritional, my all-time favorite probiotic supplement with digestive enzymes. Make sure you're using extra digestive enzymes with all of your meals. I will guarantee you, Rosemary, and Kenneth, if you will follow the steps we talk about here on the Bright Side every day, if you'll follow them, guaranteed 100%, not 99.9, 100%, you will lower your blood pressure and the chances are pretty darn good you're going to be feeling a lot better and you're going to be able to wean yourself off of your medication. It's not complicated, folks, because the body is meant to be healthy. We are meant to be healthy. We're meant to be great. We're meant to thrive. We're not meant to just be hanging on by our fingernails. We're not meant just to be barely getting by. What is the point of taking all of these drugs if you fall asleep all day and you can't have sex and you feel like crap? Well, yeah, you, oh, but we lowered your blood pressure. <laughs> That's really the logic. It is absolute insanity, and it is so unnecessary. If you get on, I, I'm, guarantee, I'm guaranteeing everyone out there who's dealing with a chronic degenerative condition, if you control the digestive system, you control the foods you eat, and if you want a quick way to do it, just fast. Stabilize digestive health with probiotics and, and fucoid, the fucoid Z and apple cider vinegar and digestive enzymes and caloric restriction. You, stay, uh, you work on your blood sugar by reducing your intake and using blood sugar control nutrients, particularly the B vitamins and electrolytes and your essential fatty acids. You practice your deep breathing techniques. You get on a rebounder. Do a little bit of exercise. You rest a lot. I'm guaranteeing with 100% certainty because I've seen it thousands of times and it just flat out makes sense. You will reverse your degenerative condition quickly and in a far more effective fashion than any doctor or any tool the medical model can ever do. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.